Let us take a look at a few more examples here. Suppose our goal is to calculate the log plus of e to power negative 3t. Remember the definition of the Laplace transformation of function f. It's the improper integral, 0 to infinity. You're going to copy down e to power negative st, and then you're going to copy down your function, whatever that is. So here our function is e to power negative 3t. We're going to calculate the improper integral of e to power negative 3t times e to power negative st dt. Well, since you have the same base, you just need to combine the exponents. This becomes the integral of e to power negative s plus 3 times t dt. As you remember from elementary calculus, this is going to be negative e to power negative s plus 3 times t divided by s plus 3 and t ranges between 0 to infinity. This is equal to 1 divided by s plus 3. When you plug in infinity for t, it becomes 0. And when you plug in 0 for t, you get e to power on the denominator with 0, and you get 1. So that's how you end up with 1 divided by s plus 3. Let us take a look at another example. Suppose our goal is to calculate the Laplace of e to power 5t. So again, e to power 5t is your function f of t that you need to plug into the integral. So we have the improper integral of e to power 5t times e to power negative st dt. Again, we're going to combine the exponents because you have the exact same base. So you end up with e to power negative 5 minus s times t dt. As usual, using the chain rule, or here you can use the substitution, u sub, you get negative e to power negative s minus 5 times t divided by s minus 5. t ranges between 0 to infinity, but if you plug in infinity because of the negative exponent, it lands on the denominator, you get a 0, and when you plug in 0 for t, you end up with basically just 1 divided by s minus 5. So some of the calculations are easy, some others require more applications and techniques. For example, suppose I ask you to calculate the Laplace of sine of 2t. Sine of 2t is your f of t, that it lands inside the integral. So you have the improper integral 0 to infinity, e to power negative st, this is fixed times sine of 2t dt. We're going to apply integration by parts, which is the integral of u dv is uv minus the integral v du. Let us identify u and dv and then continue the process. We're going to take u to be sine 2t and dv is equal to e to power negative st dt. The derivative of u is 2 cosine 2t dt and dv is e to power negative st dt. This is basically taking the derivative, uh, taking the integral with respect to t. So basically your v becomes negative e to power negative st divided by s. Now let us follow the formula. You have uv minus the integral v du. So you multiply u v. So you have the multiplication of sine of 2t times negative e to power negative st divided by s, which lands here, plus the integral of e to power negative st cosine 2t. Now please note that this plus comes from the second negative sign that you have here. So as you can see, you have another integral that you need to apply the integration by parts here. This can be written as 2 divided by s, the improper integral e to power negative st cosine 2t. 
remember that if you plug in infinity here this guy goes under denominator and number divided by infinity becomes zero and if you multiply it by if you plug in zero this is basically sine of zero which is zero again so that's how you end up with so this guy disappears and you end up with two over s the improper integral e to power negative s d cosine 2 t dt the condition is that s is positive now let us continue remember that you need to apply integration by parts twice so far we saw that this integral is equal to 2 over s the improper integral e to power negative s t cosine 2 t so let us apply integration by parts for the second time the integral of u d b is equal to u b minus integral b d u now let us take u to be cosine 2 t and dv is e to power negative st so du becomes negative 2 sine 2t and v is negative e to power negative st divided by s so let us follow the formula and do the calculations the integral of e to power negative st cosine 2t dt is uv so you're going to just multiply u and v minus the integral of v du which becomes plus the integral of e to power negative st divided by s minus 2 sine 2t dt Remember that since you have improper integral, you need to plug in infinity and we need to plug in zero. And also, since we just calculated the integral of u dv, this is equivalent to just this integral. So if you multiply it by 2 divided by s, you have 2 over s multiplied by the quantity that you can see here. But let us first calculate the limit, then do the computation. This integral is basically just 1 over s because if you plug in infinity, it becomes 0. And if you plug in 0, you have cosine of 0, which is 1, divided by s, and you end up with 1 over s. So, so far, we saw that the Laplace of sine of 2t is nothing but 2 over s squared because we're multiplying 2 over s and 1 over s minus you multiply 2 by 2 which is 4 divided by s squared times the integral of e to power negative st sine 2t which is nothing but the laplace of sine 2t so as you can see you have laplace of sine 2t on the left laplace of sine 2t on the right we're going to do a little bit of algebra the laplace of sine 2t now plus 4 over s squared Laplace of sine 2t is equal to 2 divided by s squared. We just brought this term to the other side. Now, if you factor out Laplace of sine 2t and combine these two terms, 1 plus 4 over sine squared, s squared, and then bring it to the other side, the Laplace of sine 2t becomes 2 divided by s squared plus 4, and s is positive. 